hello guys i am back again to keep you updated with the breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria so wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right you can see on the screen the fear of ipob it's all about an number 2021 so according to a lawmaker, which I will disclose to you, he said we can't use PDP APC logos on campaign buses because of IPOB. All right, guys, um, as we already know that November 6th, um, I think barely one month from now, there will be election in Anambra State. That is governorship election in Anambra State. Then according to IPOB, okay, though it is not official, that they don't want any election in the southeastern part of the country. So politicians in that number of state are scared of using the logos of any of the political party due to fear of IPOB. A member of the House of Representatives, his name is Obinachi Doka. He was the person uh, that disclosed that. So Mr. Chidoka disclosed that while contributing to a motion moved by Emeka Azubogu uh, yesterday or uh, Tuesday. The lawmaker said that criminal elements have infiltrated the IPOB movement and are causing mayhem in the region. He said lawmakers from the Southeast are now scared of going home due to fear of attacks of IPOB, that even in the ongoing campaigns ahead of the governor. Uh, that is November 6th governor election. Politicians dare not put the logo of their parties on branded vehicles. All right. So, guys, that is um, what is going on so far. Uh, so good in Anambra State. He also explained that the agitation for Biafra has turned violent because the group has been infiltrated by criminals who are causing mayhem. I so much thank God that. He said the group has been infiltrated. So he is not directly saying that IPOB are criminal. This is the more reason why Abaribe, to any length, will stand to support IPOB. According to him, he's supporting his people. Yesterday, he said he will stand shorty again for Namde Kanu. Of course, the same treatment. Okay, looking at what is going on in the... Um, Anambra State. I think um, the military has launched, not I think, the military has launched another operation. And if K is not taken, they should be careful. So that what happened in 2017 in the IPOB's leader's home, I'm talking about Mazin Namdekanu, should not repeat itself. That is what everybody is praying. I mean, launching of uh, this operation and so on. But the real places where operation should be launched, they are not launching it. All right, um, Chidoka also urged the members of the Nigerian police uh, to stand up to their responsibility. According to him, he said they should accept that joining the police, they should accept to sign a dead warrant. That was from Chidoka. All right, guys, I quickly want to update you on this. What is the situation report in Anambra State? Um, even INEC themselves, they are optimistic. They are not even sure if the election coming up, I think one month from now, will hold. And what a lot of people speculate is that this military operation in Anambra State is um, political motivated. Okay? Political motivated. You know how... Uh, it is always been using military forces uh, for election and so on. But however, let us keep our fingers crossed and wait um, to see what will happen in Anambra State. Though, like I said, okay, I don't like giving false information. It is just a rumor. IPOB has not officially, IPOB has not officially um, said there will be no election in Anambra State. Okay, but it is just a rumor. Um, you know, citing what Namdekan once said, that there will be no more election in uh, Biafra land. Okay, so they are citing on that statement. But IPOB themselves has not come out uh, to declare that, unlike, just like the seat at home. Remember, seat at home 
was an order before it was subsequently suspended. So IPOB has not officially uh, declared that there is or there will be no election in Anambra State. Okay, according to Chidoka here, fear of IPOB politicians are now afraid to put their political logo on their campaign buses or vehicle. However, let me know what you guys think. Do you want... Now, the question is, do you think IPOB will eventually declare no election in Anambra State? Or should we wait and hear from them? But for me, I don't like talking about issues like this, okay? But let me know what you guys think uh, the idea or the mindset of IPOB if they will eventually declare no election in Anambra State. I quickly wanted to update you guys on this. See you guys in another update.